This is Brandy Arnault of BrandyArnaultFineArt.com. Today, instead of uh, taping myself painting, I thought I would uh, let you guys see sometimes the back end of being an artist. Now, at this time in my studio year, okay, and uh, I have different things I do each month of the year. Uh, and this is the time when I start preparing for a show that I do once a year where I get a lot of my income at this show. So it's important for me to be well prepared for it. Well, it's in threat of not happening. If the show doesn't happen and I don't have an opportunity to set up my tent and do the things that I normally would do to uh, make the income that I usually can count on, not every year, but um, if I don't have the opportunity, then that's a roadblock that I have to look at a little closer. So the next option would be open studio. And so for me to do that, I really need to uh, get this studio in presentable shape. Now I have a video that I did about my bookcase. That's for my benefit too, to have it look um, decorative, um, take the extra few steps to keep it clean all the time, uh, and, 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 and that kind of thing. So what I have here is a box of stuff that has accumulated in this basket. It's not a box, it's a basket. Some of the things are going to stay in the basket, but I gotta go through and clear out what I have. Uh, website presence. So getting, getting ready for that, I've got things laid out here for me to do, to work on. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep that on the right side of this basket, which means it's gonna go back into the basket. I think in the near future, I'm gonna just put a nail on the wall so I can hang it up on the wall. That's a good idea. This is an old fashioned binder that has uh, my accounting in it, um, shows that I've um, uh, per, you know, applied for, my artist statement, um, some uh, comments from other patrons, um, you know, and then I've got you know, other sales tips and such. So all of that, is in this binder and I do keep this close by because I'm always referring to it. So that'll stay, that'll go back in the basket. This is um, a written ledger of my studio supplies. I find that this is much easier just to have it written down. Now this is not keeping track of my finished paintings. That I have the website to do. Um, but it does keep track of, you know, how, how many tubes of this color I have, or how many brushes I have, how many frames I have, what are the sizes of the frames. And, and keeping it current through the year will help me when I have to get ready for taxes. That stays here, I try to keep that current. This is my little black book. It is the names of my patrons. some receipts from frames um, and um, a recording of the stock that I have in here. This is an old-fashioned columnar pad. I do keep track of my spending manually and, and that is done in this binder. So this is extra sheets that I am going to file. I'm not going to keep that out here in this basket. Um, and this is 
customer files, which is just leftover hard copies from when I set this book up, because I just recently set this up. Well, when I say recent, within a year. So I went back into my files to write them down by year and name. This is a personal matter. This is migraine information. I do have migraines. My file cabinets are not located in the studio. There, there is a loft right past my studio and that's where we have the filing cabinet. This is my budget. This is my household spending budget. I don't need this out here either, so that will be filed away. I have three empty files here that I will put back into the file cabinet. Now I have a bunch of papers here that I need to go through. And I'm gonna pick them up one by one. This is like the KonMari method of uh, getting rid of paper clutter. So I see here that I have an address of something and I'm gonna put that in the filing area. Um, this is YouTube. Uh, and I actually don't know what happened to my YouTube folder. I, I do have a YouTube folder, so I gotta go find that. Also YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. All right, now what do we got in here? Oh my goodness, I just take each thing out at one, one at a time. Um, hooks for putting on the back of a painting so the customer can just take the painting and take that hook off and put it right in their wall and they can hang it appropriately. All right, so this is watercolor supplies. And see, I was looking for this. Uh, the tape is gonna go over here. Um, a pair of scissors is gonna go over here. All right, so now this, this basket is fairly empty. Here's another customer. So I'm gonna actually put that with my customer file right in here. So I know I need to record that customer. Okay, and this is a little brush that I can put here. It's a cheapy brush. This will go here. Okay, and if you're wondering what here is. So let's see, I'm gonna put, this is my, this is the thing I use the most. So I'm going to put that there. Um, I'm going to put clothesline next to it because I'm still working on clothesline. My studio supplies I'm going to keep in the back. And then the YouTube ideas, I'm going to find that folder and put them in the folder. I'm also going to keep my return stamp back there with the stamp box, because I really don't have a good spot for it due to the size of the stamp. So here's my watercolor basket. That's all things watercolor and gouache. I'm looking into um, working with gouache. I, I see people, more and more people working with it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna jump on that too. So that's what I'm gonna do in the near future.